Transformation. Let's talk about dilation. What is it? Process that manipulates a polygon on a plane or coordinate system. Why? Helps in creating model toys, including model cars, model airplanes, and anything in that genre. Interesting fact. Hummingbirds are New World birds found only in the Americas, mainly South America. Now, here are the examples that we'll be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Now let's read the steps. Step one, determine if reduction or enlargement. Step two, compare two similar links. Now let's read the question. Triangle A prime B prime C prime is the image of triangle ABC. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So our first question that we need to ask ourselves is how does triangle ABC become triangle A prime B prime C prime? Is it a reduction? smaller or is it an enlargement bigger if we take a look at the graph the image has become bigger so we can go ahead and circle enlargement so that means our scale factor is going to be greater than one let's go ahead and write down the ratios that we'll be using and let's start with the red ratio and that is a prime b prime over a b and we'll be comparing the vertical segments on on that one let's talk about the blue ratio or b prime c prime over BC and that will be the diagonal lines. We won't be discussing how to do that in today's video because that will be using the distance formula. But if you do know the ratio of that before we simplify, go ahead and post it in the comments below. And the last one, the green ratio, C prime A prime over CA, which we'll be discussing the horizontal lines or segments. You can also flip flop the letters I just wanted the C's and C primes next to each other since it looks better. And now we're going to rewrite the ratios with the missing values so we can see which one we're finding. And the first one we're going to find is the length of A prime B prime. In order to do that, we need to count the spaces between the two letters and the result of that is 6. And now we're going to find the length of AB and we're going to count the spaces in between the two letters and the result of that is 3. So we have the ratio of 6 to 3. Some of you may have already figured that out in your head. And now we're going to talk about the blue ratio once again. If you know that ratio before you simplify, go ahead and put in the comments below. And now we're going to find the ratio of the green one. And the first one we're going to find is the length of C prime A prime or A prime C prime. So let's go ahead and count the spaces between the two letters and the result of that is 4. Now let's find the length of CA or AC so let's count the spaces in between the two letters and the result of that is 2. And now we have our ratios and now we need to find our scale factor so let's go ahead and divide 6 divided by 3 which is 2 and 4 divided by 2 which is also 2. So the scale factor for this example is 2. Now let's take a look at example 2 Let's read the question. Triangle A prime B prime C prime is the image of triangle ABC. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So the first question that we need to be asking is how does triangle ABC become triangle A prime B prime C prime? Is it a reduction smaller or an enlargement bigger? So if we take a look at the graph, the image or triangle A prime B prime C prime is smaller. So we have a reduction. So now we know the scale factor has to be less than 1. Let's go ahead and write down the ratios that we'll be using. And now let's discuss the first one, or the red ratio, where we have A prime B prime over AB. Once again, the vertical lines or segments. And now we have the second ratio, or the blue ratio, B prime C prime over BC. And once again, the diagonal lines, and won't be discussing in today's video, because that will be discussing the distance formula but if you do know the ratio before you simplify, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And the last ratio we'll be discussing is the green ratio, or C prime, A prime over CA, and once again, the horizontal lines. And we can flip flop the letters if we wanted to. I just wrote them down this way because I feel like it looks better. And now we're going to rewrite down the ratio with the missing variables. And now we're going to find each one. And the first one we're going to find is the length of segment A prime B prime. And let's count between the two letters. 
and we get four spaces. Now let's find the length of AB by counting between the two letters and that gives us eight spaces. So the ratio of A prime B prime over AB is four to eight. And let's talk about the blue ratio. Once again, we're not gonna be talking about that because that involves the distance formula. But if you do know the ratio before we simplify, go ahead and put it in the comments below. And now we're gonna be talking about the green ratio. So let's find the length of C prime A prime or A prime C prime by counting between the letters. And the result of that is two. And now we're going to find the length of CA or AC. So let's go ahead and count between the letters and the result of that is four. So the ratio for the green one is two to four. So now let's go ahead and simplify the ratios and the result of that is one half because four divided by eight is one to two and two divided by four is also one to two. So that is the scale factor for this example. And now let's move on to example three. Let's read the question. Triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the image of triangle ABC under dilation with the scale factor of two to three. What is the length of segment AB? Now we need to worry about how we got from the pre-image to the image. And since we're specifically talking about segment AB, let's use that. So now we have segment AB times the scale factor is equal to the segment A prime, B prime. Now let's look at the graph. We have the image and now let's go ahead and find the link between A prime and B prime and the result of that is four spaces. So now let's go ahead and substitute the scale factor in two thirds into the equation. Now we have segment AB times two thirds is equal to segment A prime B prime. Now let's go ahead and substitute the measurement four in for A prime B prime. Now we have segment AB times two thirds is equal to four. We need to get segment AB by itself. So that means we need to multiply by the inverse of two thirds and that is three halves. So when we multiply the two fractions, the result is one, so they cancel. And now we need to multiply by three halves on the right hand side since we did it on the left hand side. And now let's go ahead and write down our next step. And we have segment AB is equal to 12 divided by two because four times three is 12. And 12 divided by two is six. So now we have segment AB is six. And there is our answer. Now, does that make sense? Well, our scale factor is less than one. So that means AB should be bigger than A prime B prime. And that is what we have. So we did it correctly. Now let's take a look at example four. Let's read the question. Triangle A prime B prime C prime is the image of triangle ABC under dilation with a scale factor of three. What is the length of segment AB? Since we're trying to find segment AB, let's go ahead and write how we can do that. So we can use the equation segment AB times the scale factor is equal to segment A prime B prime. Our next step is to go ahead and take a look at the graph and find the measurement of segment A prime B prime. So let's count the spaces between the letters and we get six spaces. Now let's take a look at the equation one more time. We have segment AB times the scale factor is equal to segment A prime B prime. We know the scale factor is three. Let's go ahead and substitute that into the equation. And now we have segment AB times three is equal to segment A prime B prime. We know segment A prime B prime is six because we just counted the spaces between the letters. And now we have segment AB times three is equal to six. We are finding segment AB, so we need to get rid of that three. And the inverse of three is one third. And when we multiply two inverses, they cancel. And now we need to multiply one third on the right hand side since we did it on the left hand side. And six times one third is two. So segment AB is two. And that is our answer for example four. Now let's see if that makes sense. Let's take a look at the scale factor. It is three, it is greater than one. So that means segment A prime B prime should be greater than segment AB and it is. So we know we did it correctly. Now it is your turn So go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer the question. I will show you the result in three, two, and one. If you got it correct, superb. And if not, there's always tomorrow.